Apple's far out event has ended and hence down Dynamic Island was the show stopper for the whole event. But if you're thinking that it is just a pill ship cut out that Apple just gave a fancy name to, then you're probably wrong. And in this video, I'll help you look for the right answer. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So to begin with, it is an island. Well, not practically, but it is named island as it sits in the middle of sea of lit up pixels and is dynamic. Rather than being a cutout that every other smartphone manufacturer offer these days, Apple made its pill shaped cutout a core of the pro iPhone experience. While it is smaller than the notch cutout of 13 series and even that of iPhone 14 and 14 plus, it still houses all the face ID sensor and the front camera. And out of habit of doing things differently, they literally transformed the cutout into a mini notification center showing interactive notifications from stock and third-party apps. Dynamic Island stretches out to show different sorts of notification as a banner stretching out from the cutout while the Face ID and lock animation is shown in a square. It also shows the battery of your AirPods and Apple Watch. According to Apple, the Dynamic Island blurs the line between hardware and software, fluidly expanding into different shapes to clearly convey important activities such as navigation or order tracking such as live notification and one can tap and hold to expand to show more information. So to summarize, we can say that a camera cutout that can change its shape and size is Dynamic Island. Apple is also inviting third-party apps to get involved in Dynamic Island too. So yeah, this is where things will get a little more interesting. Well, that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about Dynamic Island and iPhone 14 Pro series. And if you like to know what's new in iPhone 14 series, then make sure you check out this video. I button will be here some there. So make sure you tap on it to watch the whole video. Before you leave this video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me, you're signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.